Hello everyone, this is Motion Grapher here and today in this video tutorial we are going to learn how to create this body checking temperature animation in After Effects. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to animate his hand, the temperature on the device screen, animating and blinking his eyes and the virus on the background in a continuous loop. I have created the timestamps in the video description so that you can easily skip and move to the specific point of the video. You can download this file from freepick.com. This file is free to use and please make sure to give the credit to the author. Also, I'm going to upload weekly motion graphics tutorial in this channel. Please make sure to subscribe it. After downloading this file, you can open this file within Illustrator. I'm opening this file in Adobe Illustrator because we need to separate files or layers that we want to animate in After Effects. You can see there are two layers. One of them is background and the second ones that contain all the objects. You can open this group objects and then another group. Now you can see there are three main layers. One of them is character and then this hand and then the, this virus. You can separate this layer by clicking on this circle. And now you can see that the man has been highlighted with the vector file. And then you can press control X. From here, you can create a new layer and then press control or command shift V. Now you can separate this hand by pressing control X, create a new layer and then paste it. Similarly, you can separate this virus, control X, create a new layer and control shift V or command shift V. This object layer is empty. You can delete this object layer. Now you can rename them one by one. This is the man layer. This is the hand layer and this one is virus layer. One more thing I want is I want to separate these eyes and this mark. You can open this man layer and this group and now I'm going to open this face layer and then again I'm going to open this group. Now here you can find the elements. This one is the circle. Press ctrl x create a new layer and paste it in the same way. Here you can see it's the left eye and the right eye. Click on this circle and control X, create a new layer and paste it. Similarly, do the same with the right layer. Control X, create a new layer and then paste it. You can rename them. This is the blue mark, left eye, and this one is right eye. Okay, now we are done with the illustrator. You can save this file as AI. Make sure that AI has been selected okay now you can open this edited file drag and drop this file press ok to this window now you can create a new comp by clicking this icon and rename this as main comp make sure it's 1920 by 1080 and 25 frames per second i want 10 seconds of animation and press ok to create a new comp now you can drag and drop this file into the main comp right click you can go into the create convert to layered comp if you double click this layer now you can see that all the layers that we have separated in the adobe illustrator are available within after effects in the main comp it's not scaled up you can scale this up by pressing s and then scale this up but if you check this is pixelated okay for that what you can do is you can click on this rasterize icon and make sure that all the layers within this comb is selected with this icon. Okay, if you come back to the main comb, you can see that it's not blurry now. Okay, now it's time to animate this comb. First of all, I'm going to rotate this hand. Press R for rotation. And now you can see it can be rotated, but it's not rotating in the way we want. Also, it's going behind this face. For that, you can make sure that this hand is above all the layers. Okay, I'm going to change its anchor point position here so that it moves correctly now if you can see that it's it's rotating in a great way okay one more thing you can see here if we rotate from here there is a gap around here you can fill that gap by creating a new shape layer make sure that no layer has been selected and then click on this icon and change the fill to white and we have selected this stroke to none parent this layer to hand so that if this move this also will be moved you can rename this to hand gap if you can see that 
the gap problem has been resolved okay now uh, the gap has been removed now you can animate its hand okay move this time indicator to around one second and keyframe its rotation value move to the first frame of this layer and change the rotation value to around 26 it's looking good okay now after this i'm going to animate his eyes his left and right eyes now you can select both of these eye layers right click and then pre-compose it to eyes move to the first frame of this layer press t for the opacity keyframe it now move this anchor point to around five frames forward and change the opacity value to zero now you can see that the face is not looking good because the eyes background completely gone to resolve that you can create a you can create a new shape now fill this layer with a solid and the color should be a little bit dark from his face yes maybe this color copy this color and paste it on the second layer and you can bring this down to the eyes okay if you now go to the last opacity you can see here is the background of the eyes available click on this diamond icon or this keyframe icon so that the opacity remains at zero now move five frames forward again and change the opacity value to 100 now move again this five frames forward and then click again on this diamond icon so that the opacity remains at 100 now if you preview this you can see that the one eye animation has been completed now we do not need to repeat this again you can click on this timer icon by holding alt or option key on the mac and then click on this icon this play icon go to the property and click on this loop out if you preview this again you can see that his eye has been looped his eye animation has been looped but it's quite fast it's not looking normal for that you can grab the last keyframe forward to make it slower yes now it's looking good okay now i'm going to animate this blue circle this blue circle will appear when this machine comes at this point at this point this blue mark make the opacity at 100 and keyframe it before this it should be zero okay one more thing i want is that after the machine appears here this screen should appear with some color and a number for that again make sure that no layer has been selected click on this pen tool and then create a shape around this screen i want to change its color to maybe some green you can call it as green screen create a new text layer to 98 centigrade you can bring it down and place it here You can change its color to none and it should be black okay one more thing is that i want this text layer and this screen screen to be parent on hand now if the hand moves these two layer also animate with the hand perfect one more thing is that i want these two layers should appear after maybe around 
one and a half second. Select both of these layers, press T, click on this timer icon, move around 10 frames back or 20 frames back and change opacity value to zero. Now preview it. Okay, now we are done with the hand animation, the screen animation and the eye animation. Now we are going to animate this virus on the background. For that, you can use the Animation Composer. It's a free plugin you can download from Animation Composer website. This is the website. I have also shared this link on the video description. You can use this on the both Mac and the Windows. After installing the Animation Composer, you can click on this window and then Animation Composer. Then you can click on this Effects and Presets drop down. Click on the 2D layer transformation and then you can click on this wrap and apply this waveform wrap to on this virus layer apply it if you preview the animation you can see these viruses has been moving on the background but it's too much wavy you can reduce its wavelength by going to the effects control panel and change the wavelength or wave height to 3 Okay, now it's looking good. You can reduce it to two if you want. Yes, it's looking fine. Okay, all the animation has been completed. Thank you very much for watching this video tutorial. See you soon again.